Welcome back guys. So the reason I'm looking down is I'm just looking on my phone for my notes. So I just had this idea of why not make, because you guys often ask me who's my favorites. So why not make my Mount Rushmore for each WWE era? So my eras are and this is all post WrestleMania. I'm not talking about the old, old, because I, I've got no real investment in that eras. So I'm talking about Golden Era. I'm talking about New Generation, Attitude Era, Ruthless Aggression, PG, and the current era. I don't know what it's really called. It's probably going to be called the, the Triple H era, but the current era. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's get straight into it. And this is, I'm trying to... Um, look at their body of work i'm trying to look at what they meant for the industry their draw uh, how big they were a lot of different things not just my personal opinion if it was my personal opinion there's a few guys on here that would not be on here so let's just get straight into it and let me know in your comment section who is your mount rushmore for each era golden era new generation attitude era ruthless aggression pg and the current era let me know who's your mount rushmore let's start with the golden era and i have to start with andre the giant most people cite Andre the Giant as on their Mount Rushmore. Undertaker says he's on his Mount Rushmore. John Cena says he's on his, his Mount Rushmore. Stone Cold. Um, Hulk Hogan. Most wrestlers say that Andre the Giant is on their Mount Rushmore. So I've got Andre the Giant. Then I've got, and this is one of those, he would not be on here if I wasn't trying to be as fair as possible because my personal opinion of him is very low. And that is Hulk Hogan. And I'm going to be real, he was big for the industry. He meant a lot for the wrestling industry. Do I like him personally? No. But do I think what he did in the wrestling industry is important? Yes. Next, we've got his tag team partner and foe and villain and whatever you want to call him, Macho Man Randy Savage. Now, the last one, I had to put an absolute massive heel in there. And I was debating two guys. I was debating Rowdy Roddy Piper and Jake the Snake Roberts. And ultimately, I just landed on Rowdy Roddy Piper. Now, next, next, let's look at the new generation. Oh, by the way, another thing, I cannot use the same superstar for more than one because Cena would be probably in multiple of them and Undertaker would probably be in multiple of them. So I cannot use Undertaker for PG and for um, Ruthless Aggression, for instance. I can't use John Cena for PG and this, and I, I can only use each superstar once. So I had to be very careful of where I put someone like Shawn Michaels, someone like Undertaker, some, someone like Triple H, and yes, spoilers, they are going to be on my Mount Rushmore's. Next is New Generation, HBK, I mean, he's got to be there. He was the face of the new generation when WWE started downsizing the size of the superstars. HBK was the face alongside his ultimate rival, Bret Hart. So those two, when WWE focused a little bit more on work rate, then it was kind of the two of them. When WWE realized they can't just do muscle men anymore, how else can we have a big guy on TV? Let's go for pure size. And this guy was so good. Yokozuna. Andre the Giant and Yokozuna, the two best big guys to ever do this. There's obviously some others, but those are the two best big guys to ever do this. Yokozuna at one point was legitimately 600 pounds. And at that point, he wasn't that mobile anymore. But when he was right around 500, 550 pounds, Undertaker said he moved like a 250 pound guy. He could do things that a lot of smaller guys could not do. And then lastly, for new generation, I actually put the Undertaker in here. Obviously, you could have gone in multiple of them, but I think Undertaker was so important in the new generation era. Next, Attitude Era. Now, this was so difficult because the Attitude Era, the roster was just so incredibly, incredibly stacked. But obviously, the guy who was the face of the Attitude Era, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, we have to go for his ultimate foe I would say and that would be The Rock. Now the two other guys that made the Attitude Era must watch. Now obviously I'm leaving out in each generation I'm leaving out multiple guys but I could only pick four. The other one that or the other two that made the Attitude Era must watch Triple H and then one of those that everybody switched over from WCW to WWE or WWF back then because they couldn't believe this happened and WCW made this happen is Mankind, Mick Foley, whatever you want to call him, just an absolute goat. Okay, moving on to the Ruthless Aggression era. This one was also incredibly tough. There were so many guys that were so important this era. Well, every era. I'm going to say this for every single era, but let's just get it out of the way. Kurt Angle, just his rise from rookie 
to absolute superstar is incredible. Apart from that, he's just so incredibly good in everything he does. Angle, whether he's comedy segment, whether he's a heel, whether he's a face, just so good. Eddie Guerrero, so important to the Ruthless Aggression era. Next, Edge. Edge, Ruthless Aggression, he was that ultimate villain, the ultimate bad guy. And then next is Brock Lesnar. Now, I know I'm leaving someone out, but I had to put this person in the next one. PG era. PG era, Randy Orton and one of his ultimate challengers, John Cena. And I could have put him in Ruthless as well, but I think he was more important in the... um, PG era than in the Ruthless Aggression era. Then we have CM Punk. I know he's a very controversial figure, but he's still very important to the business. And then I was debating between quite a few, but I ultimately landed on, and this is going to get me so, so, so much hate. But ultimately, I landed on The Miz. And I know this is just going to be such a controversial decision. But The Miz was at one point in the PG era, he was every opening segment of Raw with a promo. The Miz was a constant on TV and he actually elevated the IC Championship to absolute new heights. So I landed on The Miz. I don't know what you want me to say. It's just, just it is what it is. Next, we're looking at the current era and it has to be Roman Reigns. I mean, there's just no two ways about it. Now I'm filming this, I'm filming this the 18th of May. So I'm filming this probably before the next, um, premium live event which is king of the ring so there might be some changes so just know when i'm filming this um then seth rollins he's incredibly important it was between seth and drew but i ultimately landed on seth gunther i think he's currently very important and he's going to continue to rise in importance in the current era and then the current face of the company you have to go with cody rhodes so again guys let me know who's on your mount rushmore for each era And let me know which ones I got wrong and let me know which ones you agree with. Until next time, hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.